your hands up. Hello guys, it's Grim Dutch here with another video and today we have another Road to All Dice. But first off, I want to show you what I got this morning. I was AFK and I saw something weird in my inventory and it turns out it was Rolf, the thieving pet. Finally, after about 18 million experience, I think, I got the pet, so I'm quite happy about that. I thought maybe I'm getting the pet at like 191 mil experience in or something but uh, no it uh, it was decent i mean um, the amount of time i put into it was quite a lot but 80 mil in is not that much so yeah very happy about that looks really really nice right there so there's the pet it looks very very nice i am at 123 million thieving experience right now so uh, I kind of deserved it, to be honest. But uh, let's get into the clues, guys. Coming in with number 10 is an elite cruise call. 186k coming in with Bendos fan braces. Well, uh, they are good for components, but uh, other than that, uh, kind of disappointing number 10. Number 9, another elite cruise call this time. And uh, yeah, again fan braces. This time Armadale, I believe. Um, I got them, I remember that I got them with a sack of effigies at my, I think, second week of hunting, but yeah, now there are only armadillo gloves, but uh, yeah. Number 8, coming in with a cat staff, absolutely worthless uh, piece of shit, to be honest, but uh, 231k is not that bad. Um, let's price check the staff, it comes out to 25k, yeah. Moving on, number 7, another elite glue scroll. Coming in with 303k, some makeup pouches, unique pole tips, just some standard from an elite glue scroll, but uh, 303k is not bad, guys, so I'm happy about that. Number 6, coming in with again a quite similar reward, uh, 315k, slightly better, um, coming in with some room plate bodies, papaya tree sheets and such, so uh, yeah, basic reward. Another lead clue scroll at number 5, 171k, but we are gonna re-roll that because we want something more, 328k, yeah, again, standard uh, um, elite clue scroll reward, but um, yeah, not that bad, Samurai arrows, absolutely worthless, but um, we will disassemble them for some extra components, I guess, at number 4, the first hard clue scroll coming in with 427k. Unfortunately, it's only one skipping ticket, but um, I'll take it, it's not that bad. And number three is another skipping ticket clue scroll, 667k. Not that bad. It's uh, very, very good in comparison with the other clues I did the past few weeks. So, number two coming in with some pages this time. It's been a while since I had some pages, so it's quite nice to have some. Fortunately, not the expensive ones, but um, yeah, quite happy about them anyway. Comes out to 702k, not, not too shabby. And number one is a hard clue scroll. I'm here at, at I think Sears Village. This is yeah, it's Sears Village. Coming in with 891k, again skipping tickets, so. Again, the skipping tickets uh, are saving the day again, because without them, it would have been a lot less in value. Issue comes out to the 10 clues in total, 4.3 mil. I believe last episode it was 4.1, so we are up like 200k average, so it's 20k average a clue. It's not that much, but we are going up and hopefully we will get to die soon because or something nice because it's I checked and it was in July I had my last die so that's a really long time ago not that I'm salty or anything but I would like something to keep me motivated to do clue scrolls but yeah guys I will see you next week with another road to all dice hope you all like this episode and see you guys then goodbye